In this video, we're going to look at how AI dash cams can reduce fleet fuel usage and operational costs. So first up, fuel. Aggressive driving behavior like speeding and hard braking can lower fuel economy by 15 to 30 percent. Let's look at a tangible example. If your fleet has 30 vehicles and you're running long haul, so going 520 miles per day at a diesel price of $3.92, just a 5% efficiency boost can save your fleet over $10,000 in fuel per month. If you can get a 15% efficiency boost, so the low end of that study, that can save your fleet over $31,000 in fuel per month. Next, moving violations. In California, for example, texting and driving can cost the company over $11,000 in monetary fines. And CSA scores. While difficult to calculate, the profitability impact here can be meaningful. For example, a poor CSA score can reduce your access to the best paying loads, increase insurance premiums, and even increase your fleet's audit risk. So let's take a look at how your fleet can take these cost-saving opportunities and execute on them with a dash cam. First, live alerts. It's crucial to provide live alerts for aggressive driving so drivers can understand the issue and correct it before burning more fuel or receiving a ticket. It's very important to look for a solution that's very accurate. And let me give you an example on why. Let's say that you have a hard braking event. It's very important that your camera is able to tell the difference between whether that hard braking event was caused by close following from your driver or if the passenger vehicle cut your driver off and swerved in front of them, causing them to hit the brakes. It's very important to be able to differentiate on that, to be able to coach that aggressive driving effectively and reduce fuel usage. Also positive reinforcement. While live alerts can help change that behavior, behavior in the moment, Positive reinforcement is how you turn that behavior into habit and make your good drivers great because humans respond much better and learn much more effectively from positive reinforcement than we do through punishment and negative feedback. So definitely look for a camera solution that's able to differentiate between dangerous driving and defensive driving. So the accuracy is key in that as well. And next incentives. We've seen time and time again that if you give your drivers real-time and transparent insight into how they're performing against their aggressive driving reduction goals right on their phone, they will step up time and time again. You can create win-win situations where your drivers become obsessed with saving your fleet fuel because in doing so, they're also making their paycheck bigger. And most importantly, they can understand how they're tracking towards those goals. Next cost saving opportunity, accidents and litigation. So according to the American Trucking Research Institute, the average verdict or settlement costs a fleet over $367,000. And this is despite the fact that when passenger vehicles and commercial vehicles are involved in an injury accident, the passenger vehicle is assigned an at-fault behavior 81% of the time. And additionally, 37% of injury accidents actually happen on the side of the commercial vehicle. On the chart on the right, you're looking at injury accidents per mile involving large trucks from the FMCSA. And you can see from 1999 to 2009, there's a clear trend. Injury accidents involving large trucks per mile dropped and dropped consistently. This is a testament to all the great coaching, the high hiring standards, and the investment in technology you all made. But in 2010, something changed. Injury accidents per mile have increased ever since. We would argue that it's not that you all stopped focusing on safety. I would argue that you guys are doing even better than you were in 2009. What changed as the smartphone was invented? And you can see that US smartphone adoption has a very close correlation with injury accidents per mile starting the year 2010. And this isn't to say that it's necessarily your drivers who are texting and driving. It's to say that the drivers around your vehicles have gotten more dangerous. 
Many of them are out there texting and driving or TikToking and driving. So the environment that your drivers are operating in has gotten fundamentally more dangerous. So to protect your fleet from being on the wrong end of those verdicts and settlements that cost $367,000 on average, your fleet needs to take your exoneration capabilities up to the next level. To do this, it's really important to get a dash cam that has 360 degree video visibility around the vehicle in full HD and night vision that records and analyzes 100% of drive time. I can't tell you how many fleets we've talked to who did the right thing, who invested in a camera, but when they needed that camera, it missed the event. Your business doesn't stop out on the road and neither should your camera. Next, a proven culture of safety. So attorneys have shifted their tactics a bit in recent years. They will often go after the fleet safety record rather than the event itself. That quarterly safety meeting is no longer enough. The new standard is a proactive weekly approach. I know what many of you are thinking. You may not have the resources to invest in weekly coaching for every driver because a single additional safety hire can cost 9,230K. For some businesses, this may really limit the ability to forward invest. So many fleets find themselves in a chicken or the egg situation between understanding the opportunity, but not having the resources to actually execute on it. And that's what we call smarter coaching. So there are a couple elements to this. First, those live alerts we talked about earlier, it's really important to have that. So you're able to detect and correct dangerous behavior in real time without any involvement from a safety coach. And we at Netrodyne actually take this one step further. We have something called virtual coaching, which is right on your driver's phone. Think of it as a five to 10 minute per week homework assignment for your drivers. They're able to see what they did well and what they need a little bit extra focus on the next week right on their phone with video examples. This really lets your drivers feel like they are in control of their own safety history and gives them all of the, all of the resources they need to really take the next level and be great at what they do. We see it time and time again. If you give your drivers these tools, it's really going to, um, they're really going to respond and go to the next level. And that's it. So it's time to execute. So if, if you want a blueprint and how to implement new safety technology, click the 11 tips to getting driver buy-in with video dash cameras linked in the video section.